Hello traders, Gary Wagner here just about 12.30 in Honolulu, 5.30 in New York. It is Wednesday, November 29, 2017 and this is the Daily Report for Gold and Silver. Tremendous downside pressure in the precious metals markets with gold trading off about $12.50 to close at $12.82.40. Silver also down harshly down about 37 cents at 1642 and that all in light of an unchanged dollar bitcoin through incredible gyrations moving to a high of 11,000 today before moving back below 10,000 all in a single day on today's show the last segment will cover contract specifications of bitcoin as they will trade on the chicago mercantile exchange Traders, once again, we see gold prices under very strong pressure, currently trading off about $11 on the day, $1,283.90. A couple of things become quite apparent on a technical basis. And the first thing is that the current resistance that we are looking at in terms of a line in the sand, so to speak, comes in right around $1,300 per ounce. Let's go ahead and put our line in. We can see that on this daily chart, we have had a series of opportunities to try to take that particular price out. But unlike the scouting party that occurred at about 1280, 1290, where we did pop above that and trade for a while, we have absolute definitive resistance right in this particular area. At the same time, when we look at our support and we take a series of lows, we can see that we've had a series of higher lows so in essence, what we're looking at is a flat top and an ascending support trend line. That being said, we do have a narrowing of range. We have broken back below the 50 day moving average. And then lastly, in terms of a straight candlestick pattern, let me go ahead and actually blow this up. But in terms of a straight candlestick pattern, it is quite obvious that what we see is a three river evening star we get that right here with our large green candle our star which comes in above that green candle and that being followed by this sell-off today that traders is fairly ominous now we have the market reacting on multiple fronts first of all very solid positive economic news coming out gdp now at 3.3 percent consumer confidence now at a 17-year high and that is certainly ammunition that the bearish factions can use against any kind of bulls within the gold market at the same time things such as a missile test that occurred within the last 24 hours the strongest missile ever launched by north korea one capable of hitting the mainland seems to have almost a boy the cried wolf reaction a muted reaction in that no one's paying a whole lot of attention to it or if they are they're being very very silent we have been flat this particular market and once again traders it does seem as though we're moving back into a range and probably any of a best strategy is going to be to sell the market as it hits 92 to 95 and to buy back between 65 and 72. The problem with that is it's a very, very tight range, but that is the range that we are currently looking at. And traders, because of the overwhelming majority of subscribers that wanted to learn more about Bitcoin as well as potentially get into trading Bitcoin on the futures exchange. I want to begin to talk about the makeup of the futures contract itself, the size limits, things like that. I am in the process of creating an introduction to cryptocurrency, which will be a very basic five to 10 minute video going through cryptocurrency, what they are and how they work. But for today's topic, I really want to talk about the futures contract that will be launched on the CME. It right now is December 10th as the initiation date. And realize the Chicago Mercantile Exchange is one of the largest exchange groups in the world. And it is interesting that they are actually going to create this Bitcoin futures contract. First of all, each contract is composed of five Bitcoins. Each tick which means the minimum amount it can fluctuate will be $5 per Bitcoin, amounting to $25 per contract. This means that every time a contract moves by the smallest increment, a trader will gain or lose $25 on the position that they hold. 
Now, Bitcoin futures will trade on the CME Globex and the CME Clearport from 5 p.m. to 4 p.m. Central Time, Sunday through Friday. The long trading hours are typical of futures contracts that are traded electronically. Now, there's also a spot limit of 1,000 contracts. Futures contracts will always have limits on the number of contracts one person or entity can own to prevent anyone from being able to corner the market. Bitcoin futures will have a price limit of 20% above or below prior settlement price. And price settlement will be based upon the Bitcoin reference rate or daily reference sheet of the U.S. dollar price of one Bitcoin as of 4 o'clock London time. That's when they'll actually go and fix that. So that should give you a little idea of the makeup of this contract coming out. And lastly, I believe that the leverage on this is about 20 to 1. So in upcoming shows, we'll talk about how much I think we need to put behind each one and what our particular strategies might be. The most important thing that we're going to need to watch as it initially begins to trade is volume, open interest, which amounts to liquidity. Because no matter how a market moves, if it's highly liquid, we can trade it. If it's not, it will be difficult at best. As you could tell from the last part of today's show, we are beginning our educational series on Bitcoin. Today we covered contract specification. We are in the process of putting together an introductory basic tape to cryptocurrencies itself, and we'll send out a link as soon as that is available. This has been Gary Wagner wishing you, as always, good trading. We'll talk to you tomorrow for another daily update and review. Bye-bye.